welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. This is going to be a Photoshop tutorial. And sorry, it sounds like I'm talking into a bottle. My studio is really echoey and I was, I'm having a hard time with the microphone. Hopefully you can still hear me and if not, just watch what I'm doing. So this is how to take a vintage Christmas card and create your own using your own faces. So here is the image that I got and I got this image from the Graphics Fairy website thegraphicsfairy.com. The first thing you want to do is find the vintage card that you want to edit. And then you need to find the face of the person that you want to change this to, either similar lighting or a similar pose. So I found this picture. He is kind of making that face. So I'm going to grab that picture of him and bring it into Photoshop. Make sure you have your vintage card and the picture of the person's face. Now I'm going to be showing you how to change this face to this face. You'll see me zooming in and zooming out a lot. And how I do that is I press Command or Apple, plus or minus. First thing you do, get the picture of your face and we want to just select the face with the hair. I'm going to use the marquee tool. Press Command C to copy or Apple C and click on your card and press Command C or Apple V to paste it. So we have our face here, it doesn't really match up and it's hard to tell because we can't see what's underneath. So what you do is you come over here in your layers panel and you click on opacity. And we want to change the opacity of this face that we're trying to place over the old one so that we can see underneath it. So here are my eyes of the new image, here are the eyes of the old image. And then press Apple or Command T to transform, that's going to let us move this around. I might make it a little bit bigger. And make sure it kind of lines up, you know, the chins are kind of in the same place, the ears, press return, and then let's just change the opacity back up. We just want the face, we don't want any of this other stuff around it. You can zoom in, so there's a few ways to erase the background that's around it. I'm going to make it a little bit brighter. Now we're going to use a few different tools. First, I'm going to use the magic wand tool that's just going to select some colors. And if it's selecting too much, then you need to change the tolerance right here so it's less. And if it's selecting not enough, then you need to change it so it's more. Oh, see how it just deleted his hair? So that press Command Z or Apple Z, or you can just go step backwards and it'll change that. Or you can come in your history, you can just click up to where it was before you made the mistake. Now, after I've deleted most of the stuff around his head, I'm going to use my eraser tool. I'm going to make it pretty big. I'm just using my bracket tools. You can also change the size of your brushes up here. Brushes palette. Now if it's not letting you do anything, that means you have something selected. So I'm going to press Command or Apple D to deselect. I'm just going to get these bigger areas first before I come in close to the face. Now what we want to do is come in really close and I'm going to change the opacity to 100 percent and we want the edges of our brush to be kind of soft but not not so soft that it makes his face transparent it's just smooth the edges with your eraser okay so there we have our head so now we have a glove that's going to be coming over the head and we have this hat so now let's change the opacity and make sure you're on the right layer i like to change my background layer to layer zero when i start Click on the layer oh, with your face, change the opacity because we want to be able to see the glove and the hat. And then what we're going to do is zoom in and take our eraser. And we want to be careful again around those edges. We're going to erase the face where that glove is. Okay, and then I'm looking at the hat and I'm just going to start erasing his hair up here. Okay, so now let's change the opacity back. Now this looks a little bit like a collage, but we want it to blend a little bit more. Editing this face so that it matches this background. Now there's a few things we can do, but the first thing I always do is I change the colors. So first, the first adjust adjustment actually is to change the brightness and the contrast. So I'm going to make him a little bit lighter. I'll kind of look at the background and see, you know, how much contrast is here and I'll try to match that. Okay, the second thing. Let's change the colors. So let's go to color balance. This image is really yellow. So I'm going to make his face just a little bit more yellow. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change the texture 
of the image we imported and try to match the texture of the background. Click on the face layer, go to filters, and go to filter gallery. Now you can play around with all of these different filters in here and see what looks the best. Let's zoom in a little bit on this. So I found that grain seems to work really well. Film grain um, tends to match that background a little bit too. So there's those two. And come up to artistic and down to film grain. That's a little bit too speckled. So we're gonna change the grain so it's a little bit less. So now it's matching a little bit better, but I can tell the color's too red. Now we have these edges that are really sharp and look a little bit strange. So I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm gonna make it pretty soft. And I've got it at 47% right now. I'm just gonna come around some of these edges that are really hard. Now what we want to do is add some shadows to his face. If we look at this boy's face, you can tell that there's, sh there's shadows, you know, where he's holding this glove. So we need to do the same thing with our face. So let's add some shadows, and this is really easy to do. All we do is we come over to our burn tool, or you can type O. But you can also change your edges up here and make it like harder or softer. We definitely want like the softest edge for this since it's on skin. Add some sh shading underneath this cap. So now we have some things that um, are distracting. So you may need to edit some things out. I'm gonna edit this little um, crease right here. I'm just gonna like either push, I could either push the shirt that way or I could bring the face over and I think I'm gonna choose to just bring the shirt that way. And I'm gonna use the clone stamp. To use the clone stamp, just click on it. You can also just type S. Press Alt where you wanna select from and we need to make sure we're on the right layer. Let's click on the layer with the vintage image. I'm gonna show you quickly how you would change, like if you wanted the eyes to be a little bit more blue. So to do that, you just select what you wanna copy and then press Command C and then Command V and it should copy it to another layer. Okay, so I have these two pupils, layer two and layer three. I wanna combine those. So to combine your layers so it's a little bit easier to work with, I'm just gonna select both of them. Go to layer and go to merge layers. Don't merge visible or it's gonna flatten everything. Now we just have these pupils selected and what we can do is go up to image adjustments, color balance. Those are the basics. You can do a lot more. So we've learned how to change something like that into your own face using Photoshop. So anyway, have a great day and we will see you around on YouTube. I'm also, I just want to say, I'm going to be making a tutorial later that will show you the basics of Photoshop if this is a little bit too much for you.